In this video, we're going to be plotting tracks within the public sur land survey system. Uh, the first thing that we are going to bring up here is the previous plat that we created that has the section boundaries. And, uh, and as we can see here, we'll scale it. You have the section, we have a quarter, uh, southeast quarter section, and we have the southwest quarter of the southeast quarter of the same section. Now we're not interested in working in that directly. We're, ex we're going to plot the track that belongs within this section, and then we're going to reference it to one of the corners so we can see where it actually lies within the section. So we'll turn these three particular tracks off that represent the section, quarter section, and quarter quarter section and then we'll bring in the type descriptions of the three tracks that we're interested in plotting. And first one we'll make a copy of the the actual text description from Notepad. We'll go over here. Now you don't have to do it that way. You can actually enter in call by call. It just takes longer to do that and so we we want to expedite things here. So we'll go to survey, we'll select tracks, we're going under deed entry and we'll click the the deed uh, text translator. It's called a description translator. We'll paste it in there and you'll see that the closure in the, on the lower right hand corner is 0 .008 feet. That looks okay but the track name is is fabricated from the last track name that was typed in and that's a, a section name so we'll change that to track 1. Click on OK. It gives you a warning about not being able to come back and edit this and you'll lose the type description that you typed in and it'll convert it to actual call information. So we click yes to say OK. Now we have track 1 and we'll do the same thing for track 2 and track 3. Let's bring this over here. Let's copy and we'll push it out of the way. Click on the description and it automatically increments it and says that's track 2. Uh, Uh, I believe I found an error. Okay, it looks okay now. Uh, 0 0.008 feet. Click on OK. Yes, it's in there. That's the second track, which is, goes about there. And then we have a third track, which we'll paste in. Let's move that out of the way. And click on the deed entry and it has automatically incremented the name to say track 3. Look at the closure, looks like 0. Click on yes, so here's the third track. So we have three tracks on the screen and we have to connect those. Now how do we do that? Well, there are a number of ways to do that, but uh, the, the way that we recommend in the program is that you use some of the tools that we have just for that purpose. This third track, we'll just move it out of the way temporarily we can scale it to bring it back into view again. Now, what we use is under the Kogo tools there's a merge points button. If you click on that, you can click on the two points and merge that are common between the tracks and merge them together. Now that only merged one point here. We need to merge the other point over here on the other side where it where they connect. So, we'll We'll go over there and we'll zoom in to that particular point so that we can see up close what's going on because these are right on top of each other and, and it's very hard to get those to merge. Now did we get them merged together? The only way to know is go to settings and uh, we'll click on deed plotting on the left hand side here for quick settings. We'll turn off the track so we see that we only have one point number that's good because if if it were two separate point numbers they'd be numbers would be right on top of each other we know we didn't merge correctly now let's uh, uh, zoom all so we can see where we were at and let's go back and zoom let's let's actually we want to pan everything pan the view sorry to the right so we can see where this other track goes now this other track fits in this little notch right here. 
it's going to have a lot of points in common with those other tracks. In fact, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. And we're going to have to merge all of those. And that takes a little bit of time, but uh, it's, it, it's something that you have to do in order to get it them to, uh, to correctly uh, merge all the data. So we'll go to the survey and we'll click on this and go boom. So now those points are together. Let's pan to the right. Let's go to the Now we can see here that we've got two points, one on top of each other. So let's zoom in a little bit. Go to our survey tool to merge the points. Draw a little line in the middle here. It didn't, didn't work exactly. So we'll, often you have to draw an even smaller line, just a little tiny line, and that did it. So then we'll pan back up again to the next point. And if you need to lock the pan in so you can keep panning, you hit the control, hold the control key down and click on the button and that should lock it in. And we go past the, the point, the line description. And that's taking a while, so let's zoom out and just zoom in where we need to. Um, we're going to go in uh, like here. Now, um, that's a little bit too far out, so we'll go in like that and try this. So we go to the points. And notice that one of the point numbers disappears, and that's what you want to happen. So you can merge the tracks. And uh, we can actually do this number for these points. And we'll do the same thing here. And we'll do there. And then we'll scroll to the right. And we'll do it for this point. And I'll scroll up. And we'll scroll to the left. Now, it appears as though everything has been merged together. Uh, but let's let's continue following the boundary to make sure that we haven't missed a point. Doesn't look like we have. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Zoom all. Actually, let's zoom to fit. And we're actually zoomed out beyond uh, the survey itself to show all the sections, show everything. Let's zoom in enough to see that all these points have unique numbers and that they're not there's not two point numbers at at all of these points. And that does appear to be the case. Alright, now uh, now that we have it in this particular uh, mode, if we move any one track, we move the whole thing, if you'll notice. So we move that, it moves the whole thing. So all we have to do is merge one of these points with the boundary and it'll merge together. So let's go and zoom all and what we want to do because the description says that this is fitting in the corner down here let's go ahead and turn on the section and we know that this particular point right here the lower left hand corner point matches up with the midpoint on the bottom section line so we're going to merge those together so we go and use the merge point tool click on that point, click on the point where it's supposed to connect to, and boom, everything snapped to there. Now if we zoom out, we should see how this thing relates to the whole section. So we'll go zoom all, and there we have it. We have our surveys, and we have the section that it lies within. And really, that's all there is to plotting these particular sections. Uh, if you need 
a plat that just shows that particular section you can actually go under plats and you can say I want another deed plat and it'll put it in there but you don't see anything on this we'll go to settings and say tracks only and let's say we want these three tracks only in that plat and then we go to the the, the view change the scale to this particular case let's make it 300 feet to an inch and there you have your plat um, obviously you're going to want to dress it up a little bit zoom in and pull some of the calls off the line so that they're more readable things like that so um, and um, this is what's involved in laying out uh, these particular uh, sections and laying out the tracks that lie within the sections. Um, if you have any more questions, you can give us a call or send us an email, and hopefully we can answer your questions. Thank you.